Hi, any new injury concerns ahead of the West Ham game? Vabbè, uh, David Lewis, David Lewis is out. Uh, always for uh, for uh, uh, any problems. Then uh, uh, Danny Drinkwater is out because uh, uh, he's sick. Uh, this the third day is uh, with a fever. Uh, and then we have to uh, to check uh, uh, yeah, a couple of situations and then to to make the best decision for tomorrow's game against West Ham. A couple of decisions, injuries or, or just selection decisions? No, uh, I have to to, ch to check the physical condition uh, uh, because after uh, all these games and uh, it's normal to to check. Uh, a player uh, could be tired and uh, yeah, we must pay great attention and uh, uh, to try to to make the best de the best decision to find the, the right solution. How is David Luiz? How close is he to returning? Uh, uh, mm. I must be honest. I don't know. I don't know the right time, the right time. But in this case, I think uh, that uh, uh, the doctor uh, can uh, can speak about uh, about his uh, situation and uh, to be more uh, more precise, no, more uh, more uh, more accurate. Yeah, more accurate. Yes. I've been linked with a move away in January. Is he <coughs> happy? Who? Don Luis. If. Uh, He's being linked with a move away in, in January in the transfer window. Is he happy here? Is he okay? Mm, yeah, I think I think now uh, this is not the right moment to speak about uh, about this. Uh, now uh, uh, there is uh, a lot of games before the the transfer window, and uh, now I think it's not the right the right moment to to speak about uh, about this. About uh, uh, the, now, no, this is not important. He's a player you'd like to keep here, though. Again, uh, he's not. He's not going to get into the transfer window and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And we had these questions at the last press conference from uh, okay. Gary Cottrell. Okay, West Ham. Um, what do you make of of West Ham? Uh, struggled obviously this season, but do you see them improving now, especially under uh, David Moyes, the new manager? I must be honest. I think uh, uh, West Ham. Uh, West Ham. Uh, there are a lot of, uh, uh, of good players with great talent, and also phys this is a, a team very, very physical. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit strange to see them in this position in the table. Yeah, but for sure they, they have the, the, the potentiality to uh, yeah to. Uh, to do better, to do better, and uh, I hope not from tomorrow, but after uh, our our game. But for sure, this uh, this team is a, is a really good team. It's a really good team with uh, good uh, good uh, good players. Have you been surprised that they've struggled? Uh, yes, yes, yeah. Must be honest, and uh, I think uh, uh, that West Ham has a good squad, a good squad, and good players, and. Uh, uh, to see them in this position is, uh, is a bit strange. Um, you are now 11 points behind Manchester City. In, in order to stop that gap, get any bigger, does that make this game a must win for you? But, uh, I th yeah, every game, uh, uh, every game, uh, uh, we, we have to try to win. Uh, and uh, I think it's, uh, it's normal, it's normal uh, every, every game, but for sure, Tomorrow it won't be easy uh, against West Ham, and uh, this is uh, a London derby, and uh, we must pay great attention. Uh, then uh, uh, we all know that uh, on Sunday uh, there will be uh, a game, a derby master. Yeah, we all know this, and for this reason we have to try to uh, to win the game. But it won't be easy. It won't be easy against West Ham, and uh, in the last game against uh, against Manchester City. I saw Manchester City. Uh, they struggled a lot before to to win the game against uh, against them. We must pay great attention and uh, we must be focused. On Sunday, will you watch the Manchester derby? And if so, where? Yeah, mm, at my house. At my house, yes, and uh, for sure uh, I'll watch the game. And I like, I love football, and 
I like to uh, to watch this type of game. You, do you think it'll be a good game? Do you look forward to the, the derby days? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it will be a, a a big game, a big game, and uh, both teams are very strong, very very good. Um, maybe the best in, uh, in this uh, in this league, and uh, yeah, for this reason, I think uh, that uh, it will be right to uh, to watch this uh, this game. Can I ask you about Eden Hazard? He, um did well at the Ballon d'Or last night. He was 19th on the list. Um, there are still though, reports linking him with a move to Real Madrid next season. Um, do you know what he's thinking? What, what do you get from him in terms of his future? <coughs> Sorry, but we've already said, and Antonio yeah. said, he's too early to talk about transfer window and, and speculation, speculation about players' future. It's just not something we get into in these press conferences. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 I repeat. Uh, it's important to be focused uh, uh, in this moment. And then... Uh, when there is the the right uh, the right moment, uh, then uh, I, I'll try I'll try to uh, uh, to answer this question. And in terms of the Champions League draw, can I ask you as well? Uh, Besiktas, PSG, and, and Barca, the three possibles for you. Is there anyone you'd like to avoid? Is there anyone <laughs> you'd like to get? I think I think when uh, when I, when you reach this uh, this level, uh, it's very difficult. It's very difficult to to tell uh, this uh, this team is good or this team is not good. Uh, for sure, uh, uh, on the paper, on the paper, and uh, also for experience, for the uh, for the story of these two clubs, I think uh, Barcelona and PSG are uh, very. Very good, very good, and uh, for sure, uh, uh, these two clubs uh, are favourites for the uh, final victory in this uh, in this uh, competition. Yeah, but at the same time, uh, we must be ready to to face uh, uh, to face Barcelona, PSG, or Besiktas. Besic and uh, yeah, but now I think this is not the right moment to think this. We must be uh, concentrated. We must be focused on the league in the next game uh, against uh, against West Ham. Okay, John. On the, you mentioned Eden Hazard there, he finished 19th in the Ballon d'Or. Were you surprised? Do you think he should have been a bit higher than that? <clears throat> I'm surprised, I'm surprised. And uh, I, I'm repeating uh, uh, always the same concept. Uh, if you want to win uh, the Ballon d'Or, and uh, you have to win, the league, you had to win the Champions League, you had to win uh, uh, the World Cup, you had to win uh, uh, Europe Cup. Uh, it's important to uh, to have a great, great win. Is he better than 19th? Should he have been top 10? No, but, but for sure, uh, uh, Eden uh, is, uh, is a young player and uh, he has the potentiality to improve his, uh, his plays. Uh, in this uh, in this table for sure, but uh, at the same time uh, I like to repeat that if you want to to reach the the best, uh, you have to win. Uh, but uh, last season last season we won we won the uh, the league, but maybe two two years ago uh, Hazard uh, wasn't in the in the table, no? So you'd have to win the two Champions years ago. You'd maybe. have to win the Champions League, then you'd have to win the World Cup, and then he might win it. Yeah, but but I think uh, a top player uh, must have this ambition. It's normal. Uh, otherwise, uh, you stay with the other eh? in the middle. And this is the difference. You think he's that caliber of player, do you? Who could who could do that? No, I think I think uh, he has uh, the real potentiality uh, to uh, to become one of the best. But. Uh, you have to win. Yeah. You mentioned that you're going to check on one or two players who might be feeling tired, fatigued. Can you say who, who they are, which players might might be struggling physically? Yeah, no. Uh, there are a couple of situations. You yeah, yeah, I understand. No, and uh, I must be honest. I like I like to uh, to keep uh, uh, this uh, this situation. Yeah, and. Uh, 
get, not, no, no secret, but I don't want to, to, to tell uh, who are uh, these two players or three players. Okay, fair enough. Your next seven games are against teams who are tenth or below. We've said Manchester City are playing Manchester United, then they're playing Tottenham as well in the next week. So is this, is this period a good chance for you to, to try and close the, to close the gap? It's, it's a good period. It's a good period uh, if uh, if uh, we are able to, to win, and for sure. Uh, now uh, we have to play uh, two games two games away, and I guess the West Ham and then uh, Huddersfield. And uh, I repeat, the West Ham is a uh, is a good team, and uh, uh, to play away against the Huddersfield is not uh, is not simple. United uh, lost the game. Manchester City struggled a lot against them. In, in England, uh, uh, they are not easy game, and uh, but uh, we have to try in every game to we have to try to win. We have to try to do our best uh, because uh, this league uh, is uh, is very tough, and uh, especially because there is a team that uh, is doing uh, uh, an extraordinary uh, path. Manchester City finally lost a game this week. I mean, you know what it's like to go on a long run and then and then to lose. Is it hard then? To go again, once you have that defeat after a long run. <coughs> But uh, it's very it's very difficult to uh, to see uh, two defeats in a row uh, for a great team. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. Even against Man United. Yeah, but uh, I, I usually usually and uh, it's it's very difficult to see two defeats in a, in a row in a great team. I repeat this for my experience. And uh, but at the same time, uh, <laughs> Manchester United uh, can beat can beat Manchester uh, Manchester City. Yeah, it was better, may maybe, but it was better if uh, Manchester City uh, uh, didn't lose the game against uh, against Shakhtar for the st stats. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Liam. Antonio, uh, Cesar Espliqueta said in midweek that he's going to try and beat his 74 game streak in the Premier League. Are you going to let him try and do that or will you have to kind of protect him from himself a little bit and rest him occasionally, especially over the Christmas games? Yeah, but uh, I think uh, for, for every player, uh, uh, for every player, every player, I try, I try to protect every player, every player, but when when we play uh, every three uh, in every three days, uh, uh, it's it's very difficult. It's very difficult also because uh, it's impossible to uh, to keep your form at the best. It's normal that uh, your form, uh, if you continue to to play only to play without training session, uh, your form uh, and uh, can go up and down, up and down. And this is uh, this could be dangerous. Also, the risk for uh, the risk for uh, for an, uh, an injury is, is very high, and uh, yeah, I repeat, I'll try I'll try to to rotate my players. I'll try to make the best decision, and uh, yeah, we are not so uh, so 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 big, no. And uh, but uh, uh, I think that uh, I'm doing uh, for. Uh, uh, for my players, uh, the chance, the chance to show me that uh, they serve to play, and uh, when I did this, uh, I I received uh, a good response of, of my players. Okay, Nizar. I could ask you um, what would be the best result in the Manchester derby for Chelsea: a Manchester City loss or a draw? Uh, I think that the best uh, the best result uh, is to win against the West Ham. Yeah, and then anything can happen uh, uh, in, in the derby, in the Manchester derby. For, for me, the best result uh, uh, is uh, our result. Uh, the most important thing to to try to win in a difficult game. Okay, so I'll last one. Will you be a, a Manchester United fan though for the first time, first and only time on Sunday? But uh, I, I must be honest. Uh, uh, First of all, uh, uh, it will be important uh, to uh, to try to, to take three points in our game, and then uh, then uh, you you can see uh, uh, this game. Uh, this game uh, is a big game. I think uh, 
uh, it will be right uh, to win uh, who deserve more to win i like i like uh, and i love uh, to to see football in this uh, in this way to win the best to win the best and uh, it's not important if uh, i'm uh, uh, support the Manchester United Manchester City I think, I think it's not important I'm 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 a supporter uh, for for Chelsea <laughs> can I just quickly check if Alvaro Morata was one of the players that is a down for Saturday he's already said he's not going to name names Simon can we do the last question at the back thanks Antonio Angelo Kante finished eighth in the Ballon d'Or voting eighth eighth the highest of any Premier League player can you just tell me your thoughts about him as a player and also the fact that he's above everyone else in this division in the voting. Yeah, I think uh, uh, to finish eight uh, in the table, uh, uh, in the Ballon d'Or tables, for, for a player uh, uh, like uh, Kanté with this type of characteristic, uh, it's not simple, uh, it's not easy. Usually, and the Ballon d'Or uh, at the top of the list, uh, uh, there are talented players. Uh, to finish eighth for Golo, I think it is a great result. I'm proud. I'm proud uh, for, for for him for this uh, for this result, and uh, I think that uh, uh, all the people understood the uh, uh, the capacity of these uh, of these players, and. Uh, I think he's a he's a fantastic player, and uh, for me, in his uh, in his role, he's one of the best in the world. Okay, thank you, guys. Cameras off, please.